Our big story, the late winter snow we have received may make you want to stay inside a bit, but it puts Idaho wildlife on the move. This week, some residents in the foothills started noticing elk showing up in their neighborhoods. As Idaho Backroads reporter Steve Liebendahl shows us, that provides a unique wildlife viewing opportunity, but it also raises some concerns. And they were literally coming right down that where that path is that you can sort of see in the snow. April Neal moved to her home in the Boise foothills just two years ago. She's seen deer in the open space just below her deck near Table Rock, but she was surprised when a herd of elk started moving in. And it's just telling me that there's got to be a ton of snow up in the mountains um, because we never see elk. We see a million deer. You know, they, they do drive-bys in the neighborhood and they eat everyone's roses, but these guys were definitely not deer. Jim Weimer was not surprised at all. Been watching this for years and years and years. He's been tracking elk that move into the area during his 30 years in the neighborhood, especially when the snow hits. There's usually anywhere from 50 to 250 that come down in the winter time hunting for food. Weimer says during the day, the elk stay in the hills just north, but in the evening, they come down and they find their food, whatever they can get. Fish and Game Deer and Elk Coordinator Daryl Mind says this is part of the elk's traditional winter range, and people who now live where the elk have roamed for years should keep some things in mind. One of the biggest things we encourage people to do is to enjoy wildlife from a distance. Use your binoculars and spotting scope. Uh, this time of year, don't uh, make them run or walk because they're, they're just burning uh, energy that they don't need to. People aren't the only ones who can stress the elk. Pets, especially dogs, can stress the animals and put their own well-being at risk. Neil's observations make such a scenario seem likely. I have a clear shot of this hill. Nobody has their dog on a leash, like ever. One more thing, if you live in the area and landscape with a plant called Japanese yew, you should cover it completely. The ornamental shrub is highly toxic and every year animals who eat it end up dead. That's another thing that Neil, who admits to being a purely city girl from Boston, just learned about her new home and the animals that live here. She says the wildlife are just one more reason that her move to the Gem State was worth it. The wildlife is special, and to have it so close makes it a really wonderful place to live. Steve Liebenthal, Six on Your Side. Yeah, pretty to look at. Fish and Game says with more snow in the forecast, more elk will likely move down from the mountains and into places where people live. So that's a great segue to mm -hmm. talk to Scott 